Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. The title for today's video is LinkedIn Automation Tools, yes or no? Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts after the break. Hi everyone, if you're a regular user of LinkedIn, you'll be aware that there are certain tools uh, around that help you to automate your daily activities on LinkedIn. For the purpose of this discussion, I researched one particular tool called LinkedIn Helper. Bear with me, let's have a look. Let's just So LinkedIn Helper is just one of a range of automation tools available for LinkedIn. During the test, there's a free trial available. This is not a sponsored post, by the way, which you'll I think you'll realize when you watch the whole of the video. During this uh, test, I set up LinkedIn Helper to view other people's profiles. It says here, there's a list of, uh, of benefits of LinkedIn Helper on their, their website. So thousands of targeted contacts, auto mailing system, auto responder, automatic profile visiting. That's the feature that I tested during my short test of LinkedIn Helper. Um, and so they're, they're saying there are lots of benefits from, from automating some of these actions. Now let's come out of this. Okay, so on the face of it, when you look at your to-do list for LinkedIn, you may have a lot of, and this is from a, a, a perspective of a B2B business owner. You may have a lot of people that you want to assess to see whether they're leads on prospects and whether you should contact them. And you may also have people who are viewing your profile and then you may think there's lots of messages or potential DM messages that you can send. So the first thought would might be, oh, is there some way I can get some help on this? And that's why these um, products like LinkedIn Helper, and I've just shown you a LinkedIn Helper, and there's also one called Duck Soup. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that in detail because I don't have any experience with that. I tested LinkedIn Helper so that I could report on it on this channel. Now I want to give you my thoughts. First of all, uh, it's a dangerous area to get into automating your processes on LinkedIn. It's against the terms of service from LinkedIn. So you're potentially risking the result that you could be banned or suspended from LinkedIn. And if you're in the B2B environment, B2B sector, LinkedIn is one of your key platforms. So you really don't want to risk being suspended or banned from LinkedIn. So my thoughts on the test of LinkedIn Helper were that it was able to, and this was a, I think it was a test I did for four or five days, it was able to view lots of profiles. And this uh, activity or this benefit is premised on the uh, understanding or the belief that when you view people's profiles, they will automatically view your profile and then some of those, a small percentage, will send you an invite so you're gonna get more uh, connection requests and more, obviously expand your network. I didn't find this to be the case during my test. I viewed lots of profiles of people I had no connection with and try and understand their perspective. They probably saw, oh, I viewed their profile, but they have no connection with me. There's no relevance there. So they didn't follow up in the way that uh, it may be predicted in terms of looking at my profile and then sending a connection request or being receptive to me sending a request, uh, uh, connection request. So that feature, looking at lots of profiles a day, let's say 50 profiles a day, which I wouldn't do personally because I'm too busy with other activities for the business. Um, but that feature didn't seem to have any value because I could look at 100 profiles a day, maybe 10, 20 look, people look back at my profile, uh, but maybe they don't send any connection requests. Uh, just that didn't seem to be such a, a massive benefit from my test. The, also, you can uh, send, uh, you can sort of create template messages and send those to people uh, if you use it in conjunction with LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And if you haven't seen my LinkedIn Sales Navigator video and why I stopped using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, I'll put a card up above now. Click on that and you should watch that uh, as well. Now. Uh, sending messages to people who are not warm prospects. I'm not a great fan of that. You know, that's a sorry, very British way of saying, I don't think that's a very effective activity at all, sending lots of messages to people who have no connection with you, no understanding of your business, your expertise, or what your company does. Uh, so 
I don't think that's great. I think uh, cold leads are obviously much harder leads to convert. And I think you should focus more on warm leads. People have a connection with you. If there are connections in your network that can introduce you to new people, I think you should focus on that rather than automation tools. Uh, so there's a there's that concern that the automation tools don't work. There's also the uh, concern that it's against LinkedIn's terms of service. So my recommendation, and to answer the question that I put in the title, LinkedIn automation tools, yes or no, my recommendation is no, that you stay authentic, you make slow, organic increases to your network and to your pool of connections by disseminating pieces of valuable content via your profile and your LinkedIn company page, and then attracting the right people to you. Uh, so instead of trying to spam thousands and thousands of people who, because there's over 610 million people on LinkedIn now, uh, instead of trying to sort of spam large numbers of people, take a qualitative approach and target and qualify your contacts and your um, potential prospects before making any approaches. Send individual uh, connection requests. Uh, hopefully you'll you know, you'll have an understanding of people uh, through your interaction with them and you'll be able to get quite a good conversion of your connection requests into people coming into your network and then send them relevant messages as well as the content. Build a relationship. Business is about relationship building. Build a relationship. You can't build a relationship if you're sending thousands of messages to random people or if you're uh, viewing hundreds of uh, random profiles per day. When I say random, obviously you can set filters, but they, they're still random in that they have no contact or with you or your business. So my take on the whole LinkedIn automation tools is that you shouldn't use them. And I base my opinion on a test that I ran of LinkedIn Helper, uh, which proved very inconclusive and in, ineffective. But also, there's, as I said a couple of times now, LinkedIn don't want you to do this and they are uh, very sophisticated in how they monitor and update their algorithm so that they can detect when LinkedIn users are using automation tools. And I suspect that you will get, uh, potentially, you could get shut down and, and your, your profile uh, suspended or banned from LinkedIn, and that is a, a price not worth paying. So you should stay away from the LinkedIn automation tools. That's my thoughts on it, based on a test of LinkedIn Helper, just one of the many automation tools available. Uh, I won't link to them in the description because I'm not in favor of them. But obviously, if you use Google or one of the other uh, search engines that you're familiar with, you'll be able to find those uh, tools. Thanks for watching all the way through. I hope you've liked this discussion based on LinkedIn automation tools. If you have, please give me a like. Click on my face to subscribe and click on one of the two screenshots to watch another video. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. The title for today's video is LinkedIn, six ways to increase your reach. Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts after the break. Hi everyone, if you've not already subscribed to this channel, click subscribe, give me a like on this video and any other videos you watch. And when you get to the end of this video, please click on one of the screenshots to watch another video. Thanks. LinkedIn recently announced that they've passed the mark of 600 million uh, users. 
they've actually got 610 million users. Uh, so uh, for a B2B audience, LinkedIn is becoming increasingly important. It's always been important, but now more so. There's more engagement, more members. So it's incumbent on you to find out any new ways to increase your reach on LinkedIn and then to get more possible connections for yourself and for your business or organization. In this video, I'm going to walk through six ways to increase your reach.